Uh, hello and welcome to Rex G Wreckage of the Old Boats episode one, part one. And isn't it five? It's five. Fuck! I <laughs> it's episode one, part five. I mean, how could we get that all wrong? Wait. Guys, guys, no. <laughs> episode five, part one. Welcome to a Wreckage of the Old Boats, episode five, part one. Uh, last, uh, we had our intrepid heroes. One of them died from arrows and bleeding out. Bleeding out from arrows. And, and then one of our other heroes got possessed by an evil mask. And the final hero, the final two heroes fell both asleep and got knocked out. Kind of the same condition, really. Yes. Speaking and... of Gate, would you like to show our audience what our new villain looks like? Oh, right. Well, it's the same one, but... Uh, it's it's sexy. Hot <laughs> jam. Look at him. Look at him and his face covered with a mask. I'd brush that broccoli hair all day long. I don't think a broccoli, a broccoli would be able to survive a calm, unless of course it has not been boiled yet. Well, I mean, who would ever think of a hard-boiled broccoli? You don't hard-boil broccoli, you just boil it. <laughs> okay. Um, where the hell was I? I don't know. <laughs> Boats. Where am I, really, in life? We, we just did a recap of what happened last time. Yeah, alright, so, Tomb, you've, uh... You, you've been recently briefed by, um... Captain Shadowless, who does in fact have a shadow, as you might notice. That, um... Uh, you, you, you are on the, the ship, the, uh... Shatter... Wait, hold on, what the hell is its name? Splinter Rose. Yeah, the Splinter Rose. Um, this is uh, a... He's actually hired this ship uh, to, you know, bring... Chase down uh, E. Bile, the evil mask who is currently controlling your friend Chill. Ah, so we got a pirate captain who is out to do evil is now on a mission for redemption. Yes, also probably revenge. Yes, well, I mean... <laughs> most likely revenge. Most likely revenge for the deaths of his crew that the mask forced him to do, as well as cause the circumstances for his one of his crewmates to that flew to die. Poor. And also the fact that that mask was a fucking jerk. God, like, wearing that thing? So irritating. It was so hot. It's like... I bet it chafes. Anyway, uh... <laughs> your face. <laughs> well, that's why he wears the bandana beard? I don't even know what that is. It is somehow... Bo you know how jo Jotaro's hat? <laughs> it's like that. Oh, okay. Well, I, I was wondering because it disappeared when the mask was on. Yes. Just kind of got tucked up in there. Yes, look at that. <laughs> It could be either. It could be a bandana, bandana or it could be a ban a bedeard. But bedeard. Bedeard. Uh, this is the hired uh, ship captain that's coming with you and is technically an ally as a result. I Pretty. don't know. We we also have our ranger bork, Robin Barker Wolf. Oh no. And you... his ranger bork, sausage. That's not going to be like a infinite fucking dog <laughs> rangers please no <laughs> hold on hold on a second i i need to refresh apparently there's an infinite loading loop on my screen uh click click a person's pog and then hit z and it should go away uh well the thing is that last time that happened it still stayed so got that up it's gone it's away okay okay Dead. Um, all right. Uh, as as a result, uh, there's also her crew. Uh, these two people who you don't know the names of. Hello, her two people. Yes, her two people. They're they're mostly going to be doing uh, maintenance uh, and you know running the boat because it's got them wheelies. Ah! Oh, oh, it's a paddle boat. That's what it's called. 
gets to paddle boat. <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Oh, God. I just Google wheelie boat on Google. I'm like, what is this? What is this wheel boat <laughs> it's a that you require paddles to operate? <laughs> hmm. Those are the paddles. <laughs> All right, shit. So what's current? Well, the boat's currently using the air to go forward instead of tiring the shit out of the two crew members. Um. So you're on, you're in hot pursuit of uh, Evile, uh, assumedly oh. going in the direction you presume him to be. When all of a sudden you hear <laughs> on the side of the boat. What was that? <laughs> I look over the side of the boat. Uh. My neck. Ow! Who put <laughs> this thing here? Oh, uh, sorry. Hey! Get your ship out of my way of swimming! Uh, get your swimming out of the ship? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't you know that pedestrians have right of way, you meanies? What are you even talking about? There's no... What? <laughs> Vehicles have to stop for people passing by. People? That's how it works. Oh, well, we didn't even see you there. Well, at least I didn't. Hey! Driver! Helmsman? Whatever your name is. Okay, hold on. Deciding on a voice for this character. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually voiced them before, but shit. <laughs> Hell, if I can remember a week ago. Yeah, what do you want? Did you see this person? What person? Yeah, we didn't see you. Gotta kind of make yourself visible, you know, if you want us to be avoiding you. Uh, fine. How do I, What do I roll to climb onto the ship? I'm going to say there's a tiny little ladder that you can just climb. Okay. Sometimes people need to get off the boat to repair shit underneath it. <laughs> Climbs up onto deck. Oh. Hello. Yar, hello. Who are you people supposed to be? Well, uh, my name's Tomb, and this is... Uh, our, our ranger dog. This is this guy right here with the bandana-like beard. Is uh, Captain Shadowless, and then you have Captain uh, uh, Fairy Head. I, I don't really know. <laughs> Damn it, Tomb! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Fairy Head. Okay, whatever. Well, have... Why do you have two captains? Well, you see, the 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 blue shirted one is the one that runs this one. The shadowless, uh, well, his ship got destroyed, and we're trying to uh, chase down. So he's technically not a captain anymore, and just saying captain. Yeah. Look at this fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy! Once a captain, always a good doggy. Who's a good doggy? Bark. He's just petting the dog. Oh my god. Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, go. Go uh, okay. have fun with the. Uh... I'm trying to find Robin there. He's just scrolling through all of the folders. Where the fuck is it? What is his name? <laughs> yes. Hold on. Let me let, let me let me go out of the fourth wall and call it Ranger Dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because everyone calls like everyone by their classes, just by uh, on site. By the way, why are you guys sailing through here? Well, uh, we're currently chasing an evil mask that will that's looking to really. Destroy the world or something. How can a mask be evil? It's a thing you put on your face. It's a thing that's been cursed with a evil soul, and it takes over the bodies of whoever wears it. <gasps> Sounds spooky. 
It is. Well, we be in hot pursuit of it, and we can't really stop f right now. Well. <laughs> Lest you wish to join us in this hot pursuit of e evil masks. I, I mean, I guess. I swam all the way here from Brisk, and boy, are my legs tired. I can imagine. Well. There's no really stopping us at the moment. I mean, we, we're working on wind power. Unless somehow the wind stops, we're, we're kind of going to continue then forward. Then the wind stops. All right. Seriously, or? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, so the two of the uh, hirelings go down and start pedaling. I guess we're done moving forward by uh, happenstance. All right. Uh, so, how are you tracking uh, the e Ebile, the mask? We are. Uh, I'm gonna open the book. Can can I can I look into the book to see if there's any notable locations that would probably lead a trail to Ebile? The book. Oh, the the book, yeah, of course, shit. Yeah, the <laughs> book, you know, about the whole lore on Ebile that I couldn't really decipher initially. All right, uh, roll history. All right. That sounds like a book reading skill. So, advantage on history since I got the book? Yeah, yeah. Thank God. Holy shit. And here, I thought you were going to cast that locate object spell. <clears throat> All right, so... Oh, yeah, um, there's that, too, isn't there? Well, yeah. first investigation. <laughs> All right, so... Hot jam. Let me do the thing with my brain head. Well, while that is happening, I'm going to use a bit of a more conventional method. Oh? Emissary of the sea. Aquatic beasts have an extraordinary affinity with your people. You can communicate simple ideas with beasts that can breathe under wa that can breathe water. They can understand the meaning of your words, though you have no special ability to understand them in return. Basically, I am going to try and talk to any fish that might be around and be like, "Hey, have you seen anyone else passing through this area? Like, preferably some jerk wearing a mask. Green hair. And can you like point in the direction of where they went?" Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, roll persuasion, um, and then I'm gonna go into what happens from the history check, and then go and map check. Uh, oh right, I need to turn off the uh, prompt. Yeah. I need to put prompt for advantage, disadvantage on. Uh, take whichever. Uh, They're both pretty high. <laughs> I'm gonna take the lowest one, so it's the same as history. All right, so well. Okay. So you read from the book that um, there's various whenever, whenever the, someone's uh, there's an event where the mask is possessing someone and running around the world. There's always uh, these temples it tries to get to, but can't because someone usually stops them in time, um, like before they even get there. And one of one of these things seems to be underwater, and this is mostly due to the fact that when with the map you're looking at in the book is really old and when you when you're looking at it it seems the location it's pointing at is a landmass but in in oh. recent modern maps it's underwater okay hey uh and, <laughs> oh sorry continue yes uh with a persuasion check um so a couple of uh tuna a couple of tuna uh, can't really uh, seem to uh, nod quote unquote about seeing some big meanie bobini uh, pass by here and they even point with their heads to the direction that they went the fish lady turns back over to the others it went that way just imagine she jumps her head underwater it's like hey where'd it go Lifts his head like, over there! Fuck. Um. Sweet. Okay, uh. 
So, j- just to make sure, hey, uh, because I, I don't, I'm not going to assume my character knows how to read maps and is a, kind of thinking that this is a standard map. So I'm going to. We need to go across all of this ground. Wait, this is a lot better. I'm, I'm going to ask this person right here. Try. Mm-hmm. I am trying to remember their name, but then again, Tomb probably doesn't remember either. So, hey, uh, blue fairy lady. It's Julie Bree Sunrise. Ah, Julie. So Julie, um. Close enough. <laughs> I'm Aaron, by the way. Oh, hello, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. So, uh, <laughs> Julie, <laughs> could, could you uh, go to this spot right here? I hold up the map. Uh, she, she just looks at the completely outdated map when there was fucking land here. And says, um, okay, let me just... Oh, okay. uh, I think I can sort that out. Great! Here you go, here's the map. I'll just... Is the map removable from the book? Or do I have to tear it out? You you probably have to tear it out. Alright, I'm not going to go and tear it out, but... It... I have an idea. I have, what an I-, I have an idea. Do we have any paper? Um, actually... From our adventures down in the snake pit, I think we took them. Unless... Unless... Uh... Chill ended up taking it with him. Did Chill have the paper? Uh, you know what? Let me check. Wouldn't that be funny? That'd be funny, yes. Uh, no. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Let's see. One book of the Mask of Doom. Saddle the Cavalier, which is on my donkey. A tiger eye gem, which I still have. Two tiny soldiers, with one with the missing head. Oh, apparently I don't have any... Oh, I got a bottle of black ink and a quill. I don't need those things. Just a paper. I got you. I got you. I'm. I don't see if I. Did you remember to take all of these stuff from Icky? Yes, buried without anything more than two copper. Okay, so you got her rapier, her short bow, her arrows, her explorer's pack, which probably includes paper, leather armor, dagger, thieves' tools, blaying pin, five feet of silk rope, common clothes, backpack is what I got. Goblin, and and there's no can paper. that has no opening. Poison dart trap, 100 gold voucher for good bank, decanter of endless water, and 60 days worth of rations. Okay, well, yes, I took all of that, but here's the thing, Gate. Yes, yes. Uh, I did not take, or uh, in the Explorer's Pack, there is no paper. Icky snatches the gold bank voucher. Flips it over so it's on the back side of the voucher. Icky? Aaron. Not Icky, Aaron. Aaron. Okay. <laughs> and then, dead. using the magic of prestidigitation... Oh, shit! Copies the map onto the voucher. <laughs> well, then. Hot shit. <laughs> Wait a second. Aren't we gonna need that voucher later? It'll go Prestidig- away after a little wi- while. Oh, Okay. That's good. Huh. Neat. All right, so uh, this helps uh, Julie Uh-oh. Bree navigate, and she's going to be able to roll at advantage for her survival. Yay! But will this help? Boop, 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 boop. Just survival. Uh-huh. Huh. Well, it's a good thing that I made that map. Hot gem. <clears throat> yeah, right. So, uh, okay, so while you're sailing down, um, uh, uh, words, it takes a couple of hours, but you notice something in the water, 
like something very dark uh, inside of the water. What's that? I don't know. Uh, I'm going uh, to... Get, could it... Uh, uh, when you we... say dark, is it like just beneath the surface or is it like way down? Uh, okay, so it's way down, but you can see it because it's very large and completely black. Okay. Uh, hey. It's strangely not as deep as uh, this part of the um, sea. Hey, captains, what's that? I'm referring to their nautical experiences to hopefully explain to us what these things are. Okay, so they look over the side of the ship, and I'm going to... Grab a thing. <laughs> what the hell? I thought I had this. Okay, hold on. Oh, we can't drag the... Uh... Oh god, it's that thing. So, it looks very small in a distance, but it, that thing is just way down there. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I know that thing. What is that thing? It's a mass of necrotic energy created by the Ebile Mask dude. We gotta destroy it. Otherwise, it's gonna affect all the living creatures down there. How? By shooting crystal shards at them. Necrotic, corrupting... But you guys can't swim! I may not be able to swim, but I do I have can swim. <laughs> <laughs> but I can swim. No. But I do have one thing that swimming doesn't have my ability to Oh wait, did you prepare your spells for today? Yes. Okay, go. To cast magic. Yeah. <laughs> What's a range on that? It says 60 feet. Uh, 60 feet. <laughs> okay. So you cast that, and it doesn't even get close. It is <laughs> far down. <laughs> so you, you, you send this bolt of sacred flame. It just fizzles out before it reaches this uh, thing. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Unless someone has a means to actually get down there. I can uh, breathe underwater, but I can't shoot white, glowy flame stuff out of my hands. Great. Then... Damn. All hope is lost. We have was defeated simply by a small amount of water. Yeah. Well, not really hey, amount. uh... Captains, is there any way for me to, you know, be able to go... Underwater a little more safely than just jumping in? Uh, not that I can think of. Well, damn. Alright, guys. <laughs> see you soon. He takes a deep breath and jumps in. Okay. Uh. <laughs> you dummy! Sploosh! <laughs> <All right. laughs> Who are you taking with? Because I will allow one of these uh, in this part of the adventure. You got uh, dog let's with bring dog. Bring the captain for the sake of Cat. swimming speed. Yeah, well, that's always an active thing. But yeah, okay. Uh, he he's a little more suited to the watery ways. The watery ways. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Before I move you guys over. Holding on. That's a lot of sharks. That oh, is... Three. I'm trying to track 3D movement a little bit more. Okay. That's interesting. So the one on the right tracks your height, and the one on the left tracks your, like, sort of position. So can these two breathe 
or no, fuck no. But they do have they do have a good amount of time before they start drowning. You know, they don't just start instantaneously choking to death. Okay. As dictated by environmental pain, suffocating. A creature can hold its breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus its constitution modifier. Minimum of 30 seconds. Okay, so 30 seconds is... Three... No, five rounds. Wait, how shit is your fucking constitution? Shit? Me? Constitution? It's a 15. Oh, okay. so, you so you should have like three minutes. Oh, okay. So three minutes equates to thirty rounds. There you go. You speaking should. of Captain Shadowless has about the same time because he has got a constitution of fourteen. Hot gem. Uh, so you notice uh, underneath the waves, like there and like down about. 45 feet. There's a bunch of sharks with crystal shards stuck in their bodies. Okay, um... I'm gonna need you... Oh, well, I can't even speak. Blah, 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 just looks over, and people call me an idiot. What's Orange intelligence? I'm curious. As a free action... Before combat starts, she grabs him, swims him up to the surface, lets him get a breath of air, and then swims him back down to his previous position. <laughs> <laughs> so that he doesn't drown from trying to talk underwater. Fucking Christ. <laughs> Alright, so now I do hand motion movements. I'm basically trying to convey you guys go after the sharks while I go after the crystal. Persuasion. Okay. Uh, persuasion versus insight, I'm sure it's going to end up being... Yeah, it's a, well, it's if it's anything like Mutants and Masterminds, you just have to pass a certain DC to be able yeah. to convey it, and then we have to pass the same DC to understand it. I actually would have j just gone with a passive insight and... No, you're just flailing your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping they understand. And then I give a thumbs up. Captain Shuttle is just nods, even though he doesn't fucking understand you. Aaron just not sure what to think of these surface dwelling people. Alright. So are we rolling initiative? I'm going to say yes. Oh well, actually, uh This is gonna be the surprise round, because the sharks don't know you're coming yet. Alright. One uh, how how many how much spacing is each space? Okay, it's so not it's... that far down. It's like 80 oh. feet, and that's why your sacred flame was just out of reach. Oh, okay. I did say it's strangely shallow at this part. It's like One, a little mountain. Two. Three. How, how far can I move? Uh, Okay, so you can move 20 feet. Because okay, so... your, your speed is split in half. And then added with five because it's captain. Okay, so I can reach it. Okay. Woohoo! Let's do this. Oh, well, it's a surprise round action, so it's only one thing, right? Mm hmm. Alright, well, I used movement. Next. Wait, is that the thing with surprise rounds? Only being able to do one thing? I don't know if that's how it works in 5e, but that's how it works in just about every other system. Whatever, we'll just do it. Let two movements. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Not two movement, like two act, two stuff. If I haven't heard of it, I don't give a fuck. I might look at it <laughs> later, but for now, this is how it works. There we go. And it's just barely hitting the tip of it. So, and it's end with its inability to hit, uh, to save it all with decks. Uh, and the fact that it's radiant energy? <laughs> yeah. Eight. 
12 damage. Yes. All right, so... Uh, Aaron, uh, er, er, uh... All right, so... Is it Aaron or Iron? Aaron. 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 Sorry. Okay. Anywho, I am Aaron. going to does me a swim because I have swimmy speed. I'm going to go myself over to to thirty of the debt. Okay. Which is like no, that's there. <laughs> so you guys are swimming directly downward, right? Not going. Yes. I'm, I'm going at a slight angle, so I'm like here now. Okay. Yeah, I'm going directly down. Down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Alright. Uh, what, what, about, what are we having Captain Shadowless do? Who's, who's taking his turn first? Yeah. You do it. Uh, Let me just sort of familiarize myself with what the hell he can do. He a fighter. He does battle master stuff. Got a whole bunch of class features. Oh boy. Hook line in. That shit can pull stuff toward you or like uh pull you toward <laughs> stuff depending on the size of a creature. Okay. I'm gonna have Shadowless do himself a swim to the side and to the down. To about like there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'd have to use some Pythagorean theorem to actually understand how much of an actual distance that is. Fuck if I know. Uh, so that was twenty feet. Are you doing any actions? Uh, are we allowed to do actions? Yeah, I was surprised you didn't. Okay. Um, come to think of it, what the hell is the range on? I mean, uh, I could have Aaron do something. The fact that you. Thought this was the case. I mean, okay. Currently, I don't know, so I'm declaring this is the case. So what I'm gonna do is right at about this here point. Mm -hmm. Aaron is going to do herself a spell. Okay. Fairy fire. Oh, Each object within a twenty-foot cube within range is outlined in blue, green, or violet light. I'm going with vi I'm going with uh, green because I think it'd be easiest to see underwater. Yeah. <laughs> Any creature in the area when the spell's cast is also outlined in light. If it fails a dexterity saving throw for the duration, objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a ten-foot radius. Any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it, and if the affected creature or object can't benefit from being invisible. This has a range of 60 feet, but it also is a 20-foot cube, so I am casting it at about, like, right there. Okay. So from there is... The... Can I get them all? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and just barely managed to dupe this thing, apparently. <laughs> Wait, got it too? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I can't roll decks for that thing, so advantage on that good thing. Holy shit. Oh, okay. So somehow all of the fucking sharks saved that, but the crystal did not. <laughs> well, I mean, the crystal can't move, so. Okay. Stationary targets. Uh, I just like to think that it. it it literally hit here and just kind of went boom. Uh, what is the range on hook line, Anne? Uh, 30 feet. Okay. Hold on, I'll give so, you a handout of that thing. I think we already have the handout somewhere. Yeah, just, I'll, pu I'll put it there just so you know. Okay. okay. So, use it as a range weapon thing? Yeah, there's a range thing in his weapons thing. Okay, and so... Captain Shadowless? is gonna do himself a that thing on shark. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure so would have been nice if he'd had advantage on that. Yes, it would. But it does yeah, hit. Yeah, it would. Oh, uh, it hits. Yeah. Don't don't assume you miss because sometimes creatures' AC is garbage. Sometimes. All right. Which so is you... a surprise for sharks in water. Shark water. Um. Alright, so now it's going to make a DC of the Strength modifier plus the Dex modifier plus 8. 
What's the strength mod and dex mod of Captain Shadowless? <laughs> Uh strength. uh strength mod is five, dex mod is three. Four. Wait, five? Holy shit. Uh no, uh the mod is three. The save mod is five. Right, sorry. Three and two then. Three and three then. Okay, so that's um eight total. Fourteen. Okay. So he he should have Picked being a fisherman, you know? Okay, so the shark fails its deck save and gets dragged right all the way up to him. Nice. Okay, so now we can roll initiative. Oh boy. Oh boy. Who wants to roll initiative for Captain Shadowless? We no longer have our plus one bonus to initiative. Yeah, let's do it. Good, good job. Thank you. <laughs> Captain Shadowless, Harry. Hey? Ah. He pulled in a shark and is now going after the shark. Oh boy! Hmm. What you doing, Doom? Okay, so. Tomb. Wait, 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 wait. Doesn't okay. the crystal need a turn? Oh, it's going thank you. Last. Thank you, shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Uh, yeah, you never know. Goodness. This initiative is different than dexter er, stationary. Uh, okay, that's a thing. Add turn. Uh, minus four. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Holy... <laughs> Well, okay, yeah, it's going last. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swim one, two, three, four. Now, I can only go 20 feet because of the five-foot bonus, mm -hmm. thanks to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with that, well, I'll go a little bit diagonally to get... Just inch my way ever closer. Ever closer. And let's see. Where's my sheet? There it is. So with something being there like that, I'm going to use... You have advantage attacking the crystal, just say no. I know, I know. I'm just hoping that this will work. Where'd it go? Ah, here you are. Oh, wait, do I have it for second level? You Hiding can cast bolts. it at second level if you really decide to. I do. I really do. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping this works. Guiding Bolt! Yeah! Oh, please! <laughs> please, <laughs> hit. <Shit>. please hit! Please <laughs> hit! It can't move! Hold on. That should it doesn't be an mean I beat its AC. Roll again. I'll t I'm not going to count the damage of the second one, but roll again. Okay. You know, because advantage? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The guiding bolt. That hits. Rip in fucking kill. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so. Times two. That's 30. 30 fucking six. And. 30. Well, that shit just fucking <laughs> kaboom! <laughs> that was Our very face quick. palms. Why <laughs> does this idiot keep trying to talk underwater? <laughs> oh, that me replace all the fucking sharks with <laughs> normal <laughs> sharks. Holy shit! Well, that was a quick <laughs> one. <laughs> Aaron points to him, like, <laughs> taps him on the shoulder, points up. <laughs> swimming up, swimming up. Uh, oh, for sure. <laughs> Alright, so we swim back up. Um, 
So only <laughs> Captain Shadowless and uh, Aaron would notice that the the giant crystal thing was actually h- h- hiding underneath it an entrance. Oh boy. <laughs> just cover, just covering up the entrance to a thing, with uh, with the, with its with the 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 giant shard crystal thing. Aaron swims over to this shark. Okay. Did uh, asks it if a dude wearing a mask went into that hole. Uh, it makes some shark noises and nods. She, she nods in response, <laughs> swims back up to where Doom is. Hey, your dude went down there. Oh, hey. Okay. You got your breath? Oh. One second. Okay, so okay Captain, I'm good. Captain Shadowless swims back up, too, because I guess he needs the oxygen to breathe. She She <laughs> waits for them to catch their breath. Right. Then takes hold of both of them and, using her own swimming speed, swims them down to the hole. Hold it. Um, holding. Hold this. I uh, <laughs> something to okay. keep track of. So that was three reef sharks. That's three hundred. Oh, I can might as well keep track of the XP that you got right now. Plus, just tell us. Just five. tell us it at the end, I guess. Okay. Uh, get. 375. I think that might be enough for us to level up. Uh, I think I thought it was like 400 something. Just. Well, we're at 2335. And if we got 375, we are now at 22710, which is literally 10 more than we need to level up. Well, fuck. <laughs> That's going to be an end of session. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, that was unexpected. Um, we, we're at the 45-minute mark, right? Uh, yeah, okay. just about. All right, so um, l- let's wait like a bit. So um, I'm, I'm going to say, um, given the what I imagine is going to be difficult uh, inside of this place, because, you know, underwater and various things, I'm going to allow you to bring a second ally. Okay. Okay. So, so the either Julie only... Bree, Sunrise, or the dog with another dog. Huh. I picked the last one, so you pick this one, Nace. I thought I picked this one. No, she picked uh, Captain Chattelis. She's like, oh, we're going to need that swim speed. Okay, I remember said we, we should get the captain, but okay. Uh... Jeez. We don't really know anything about the Julie. Um, so, he. W- is Julie good uh, in underwater combat? Um. Or I will ask Hey, Julie, are you good at underwater combat? I got a spell for that. Great, come on. And the Will spell. A, it's persuasion? Alter Self. It's a level 2 spell. Ah. It literally Sounds gives handy. her the ability to breathe underwater. Yeah, no, let's do that. <laughs> this way we're not having to worry about three characters being able to breathe underwater. Fuck. Alright, um. Dink. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, you're all going to swim down, right? Um, yeah. If they can't swim, then I will swim them. Okay. I can uh, swim, just not as fast as you. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's like, I assume I don't need to roll to say hold on and then have them hang on while I does a swim. Yeah, you don't need to roll that. All right, so you swim in uh, to this very dark uh, place and uh, this dark hole, and it's really dark in here. Oh, shit. It's filled with water, I'm assuming? It is filled with water, I'm assuming. Yes, it is in fact filled with water. Where, where are we? 
Oh, wait, did, uh... We're, we're over here. Uh, oh, there we are. <laughs> oh, I forgot the wrong shift button. <laughs> so, the only person with dark vision right now is, uh, two? Me. <laughs> oh, seriously? Okay. Alright, so only two people can actually breathe underwater right now, and that's going to be a problem. So, you're going to, you're, you have about three minutes until you run out of air. Great, so we have 30 rounds to get this done. Should I do no initiative pressure. just to keep track of the fact that you, 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 you only got 30 fucking rounds? Actually, yes. Prob probably. Okay. Okay, Nace, do you want to control Shadowless or should I control Shadowless? You control Shadowless, I'll control the other ally. Okay. So each of you gets one character that can breathe underwater. Jewel Bree! Oh! I seriously thought you said Julie. Julibri. Julibri. Sunrise. <laughs> she a wizard. She, she a wizard. Which means she is a glass cannon. She yes. actually has less health than you, I think. Or more. Slightly more or slightly less. I don't fucking know. Okay, she has 16, and I have 18. Yep, the only person with I... less health than you. Oh my gosh! Alright, so I'm going to start the timer at... This is the uh, first round. We've got 30 rounds left until you fucking drown. Pretty much. Or at least we'll be suffocating anyway. Yes. For however long that takes. Hmm. Alright, uh, so Tomb, you're underwater. It's dark, but um, you can see just fine. Oh, it's Arn. Or in order. Oh. Would help if you sorted that. Yeah, brain. Sorry, why? <laughs> Delicious brain flakes failed me today. Arn, uh, tis your turn. All right, so let me just. Can prestidigitation create light? Check the description. I... Oh. Mm -hmm. it, uh, I would say if it does create light, it's not going to create a very big light because there's certain mm. there's a there's a literal spell called light for light. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't look like like it can. Well, it can light things, but they have to be able to be lit. So, yeah. Hit. Well, it's like going into that Pokemon cave without the flash spell. Not spell. <laughs> flash move. Yeah, and we can't use torches down here. Certainly not. Alright, so, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sort of Kind of sticking close to the group, but does me a swim forward. One, two, three, four, and see if I can does me a sea of things around here. Uh, roll perception. Perception. Perceptionizing. Wow, Aaron. Wow. Okay, so what you can see is this. Um, large hole, um, right at your feet. It's no immediate threat, because, you know, there, you, you can move, just swim the fuck over it, but it's there. Mm -hmm. And you, you feel this slight, uh, rushing of water into it, but not really strong enough to pull you in. Okay. Uh, question. As mm -hmm. a triton, can I speak underwater and be understood? Yes. Okay. I call back to the others to warn them to be careful when swimming in this area. Okay. Oh. I give a thumbs up. <laughs> Staring right at her. Alright, so is that your turn, or...? Um... I think for now, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. and I'm gonna have Captain Shadowless do himself a swim over here. 
burst no, right no. through it. <laughs> no, he goes like that, yeah. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. All right, fair enough. Uh, and um, I'm gonna have him see if he notices any signs of someone having done him themselves a pass on through. Okay. Uh, roll, per- roll his perception. Shadowless only doing barely better than Norin. <laughs> barely better enough to see these tiny fucking little squiggles of necrotic crystals. It seems that uh, that's a thing that Ebile seems to occasionally do, whether or not he notices. It. There's just little, little okay. crystals. Okay, so so we now at least have a trail to follow. It starts and stops there. Tomb. All right. Uh, I will swim. One, two, three over not too far so that our new friend is out of sight just leave her in the fucking okay. nope so what do I see because there's a big ass hole here yeah you you have much better fucking else so if you wanna oh and there's a shark and what looks like s- lizard men mermen oh. That's certainly a thing that, uh, if you... Alright, so you can either roll Perception to look around, or you can roll uh, Survival to figure out what the hell those things are. Oh, I'm gonna be looking around first, because, I mean... Gonna be examining this area, you know? Mm-hmm. Come on, open, please, thank you. So, skills, Perception, man... Okay. Much better. Yeah. I mean, narratively, right. that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, yeah. so you do notice... Oh, whoops. I uh, forgot to get my roller out. The big hole, the tiny bits of crystal, and bubbles. Bubbles? Occasionally rising up from... It bubbles! Occasionally rising up from the, from the giant hole. <gasps> I point at the bubble. Uh, actually, I poke I poke Aaron on the back, hmm? and I point at the bubble. Huh, that's odd. Hmm. I, I, I do a shrugging motion. Just be like, what that shit? Uh, Aaron is not smart enough to make this inference, so Shadowless is gonna do it. Well, if the crystals start and stop here, maybe he, he went can't down. Talk. He like points to the crystals and then points down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? He's talking? He, he's t- he's totally <laughs> like talking underwater. He's got the magic pirate gauntlet. <laughs> the magic pirate pants. You know, it it would probably be better for us if we hadn't given the cap of water breathing to fucking chill. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have hoarded it ourselves. Uh, Live and learn. I'm, I'm I'm somehow making you guys pay for that uh, <laughs> indirectly. This was not my intent. Uh, so I think we could cap it off here. Uh, is yeah. 58 minutes? Yeah, 54. Close enough. Uh, Close enough. We should, let our... Jell- we should let Jelly take her turn real quick. Alright. Yeah. Jelly. Shame. Okay, so it's Jelly Bree Sun- Sunrise. Uh, Nancy, I think you've got control of her for now. She is your hired. Yeah. Friend. She is going to follow this way. And let's see what I, I wonder. Can she cast a spell known as light? That would be convenient. Can yeah. you cast a spell known as light? Me? No. He didn't prepare that spell. Nope. Let's see here. Sky self, witch bolt, alarm, silent image, charm person. Shield, mage armor, burning hands, arcane lock, altar self. 
Does she have cantrips? Uh, create bonfire, gust, and firebolt. So, yeah, no. She cannot use the spell light. Create a bonfire underwater! <laughs> what is this, Spongebob? Fuck. It might be. Alright, so are you doing anything with her? I can't think of anything to actually do with her. Okay. So that concludes round one. You have 29 rounds until you fucking drowned. And that... Well, two more rounds after that before we drowned. Fair enough. I read the suffocation thing. Okay. okay. Two now rounds let's, after now we let's take it. our episode break. Yay! See you later. How was our heroes deal with a giant hole underwater inside of a temple? We'll find, find out, out next time. <laughs> Overshadowing the GM. Okay. Find yeah. out next episode on <laughs> Stella's the cutest dog in the universe. Be right back. <laughs> Bye. Good.